Hi, welcome back. Um, last time we were talking about using a parameter sweep that helps us answer a question, such as how does a metric depend on some uh, modification of a parameter, for instance, the percentage of the population that gets infected or gets immunized. Uh, now we're going to talk about using a parameter sweep as a tool to determine a value of a parameter that's currently unknown. So let's consider a uh, real-world situation where we have a bunch of data and we're trying to determine the right beta and gamma parameters to simulate our uh, uh, the population over time. So right now beta is unknown and we have the other these other pieces of information. We have a piece of information that recovery from the disease takes five days on average, and 30% of the susceptible population got sick. So this is, we're going back and looking at the data. This is the information that we have. How could we figure out what the beta parameter is of our model? So what we're going to do is we're going to run a simulation with a whole bunch of different beta parameters and figure out which one matches the data the best. So the first thing that we want to say is that uh, we, we can use our heuristic about what gamma is with the information about the recovery. First, we can estimate gamma to be 1 over r, 0 0.2, because what we're saying is if it takes five days to recover from the disease, then of the current people who have the disease, one-fifth of them will get better today. So we're going to use this as our estimate for gamma. And now what we're going to do is we're going to sweep our beta uh, series. So let's uh, create a function that returns what that series is. So I'm going to define a difference. So we're going to we're going to work on this. We're going to define beta array is equal to lin space uh, from 0 0.1 up to 1.1 and 11 different options. So that's 0 0.1, 0 0.2, up to 1.1. And we're going to define gamma to be equal to 1 fifth or 0 0.2. So these are our possible beta values. Right, and now what we're going to do is define a function. We're going to define a sweep beta that takes into account what the current, what the beta array is. Beta array. It takes in what gamma is. And so we could pass in different values of gamma and see what the, what this uh, function looks like. Right now we're focusing on gamma's 0.2 and shortly we'll change that value of gamma. So we need to collect the information. So to collect the information, we create a sweep series. Sweep equals sweep series. And then we run our for loop for beta in beta array. We need to create a system. So system equals make system. With this particular beta and our gamma that we care about, then we run the simulation. So results equals run simulation with this updated system and the update function. 
and then we take our metric and we put it into our sweep system, our sweep series. Sweep of beta is equal to calculate total infected of results and system. All right, and so now we've created an empty sweep series and we've put in the values depending on what the different betas are. In this example, we have beta value and we have our metric in our sweep series. So beta is equal to 0.1, beta is equal to 0.2, dot, dot, dot. And then the metric goes uh, with different values depending on what the, the simulation gives us. And we can return sweep. And then whatever comes out of this, we'll want to plot it. And so here's the next steps, and this is what we're going to do over in Python. So run this, run this code and plot. See which value of beta gives 30% for our metric. And what we'll actually do is we'll take a range and we'll hone it even further. So we'll, we'll refine this lin space object so that instead of being from 0.1 up to 1.1, we'll hone in on a, a better range and then we'll get an even better approximation. And hone in to get a better approximation. All right, so let's go over and do that. All right, so uh, this is the chapter 13 notebook. We are running beta array, getting our list of values starting at 0.1 to uh, 1, 1.1. We define our sweeping of beta function that we just talked about. Uh, we can create this, we can run this with the beta array that we defined above with the gamma that we care about. And now this infected underscore sweep is the object that's collecting that information. So if we were to just ask what is infected sweep, we get different parameters, give us different uh, beta value, different percentages of the population that gets sick. Let's plot this. And when we plot this, we see uh, a chart. And we also see that we want there to be about 30% of the population that got infected. So that's a number that's between 0.2 and 0.3. So let's go up here and let's change our beta array. So instead of going between 0.1 and 1.1, let's change this so that we go between 0.2 and 0.3. Right, when we do this, then what our beta array looks like is it starts off at 0.2, it goes up to 0.3, and now it's um, uh, broken down by 0.01 instead of 0.1. So when we run this and we sweep our beta and we look at what the graph looks like, we can see now that we're only going between 0.2 and 0.3, and that's telling us that maybe 0.23 is a good estimate for beta. Because it's the value that when you plug it in, you get close to 0.3 as the percentage of the population that was infected. And if we look at what our chart actually looks like, we can see here, we're again between 0.23 and 0.24, if you care to get really, really close, we could do this again, where we have the beta array goes between 0.23 and 0.24. And now this is refining it even more. We run our code, and we see that maybe 
oops, I didn't run this one. We run our code, and we see that probably the best value that we could guess is about 0.236. So if we choose beta is equal to 0.236, gamma equal to 0.2, then 30% of the population gets infected. So this is another technique to use to um, use a parameter sweep to collect information, collect, figure out exactly what the right parameter should be. Um, let's stop here, and I'll see you in the next video.